has Canon found a way to efficiently identify optical aberrations in the lens manufacturing process with high precision? Well, in Canon Patent Filing JP 2024-066668, filed on November the 2nd, 2022, and published May the 16th, 2024, Canon claims to have found a way to improve the efficiency of optical systems or optical lenses by addressing various types of aberrations, including chromatic aberrations. This is accomplished through the acquisition and analysis of defocus data. And this isn't to be confused with the software or firmware in lenses or in the camera that is able to take into account these deficiencies and basically make them go away. The patent refers to accurately estimating optical aberrations in the optical system from multiple light sources with a wide range of wavelengths. And what optical aberrations are, at least when viewed from the technical manufacturing of these lenses, is that they're deviations from the original specifications for the lenses. And what Canon's done in this patent application is they've come up with a methodology and a process and various, how should we say, information systems to be able to solve this problem. Measuring is the first process group. This process acquires multiple light intensity distributions by imaging a single object through the optical system, but at different defocus positions. These defocus positions are created by slightly shifting the focus, allowing the capture of light intensity patterns at each position. And once we have these measurements, it's time to calculate additional light intensity distributions that correspond to these defocus positions. These calculated distributions may help refine the understanding of how the light behaves through the optical system or the lens. The third step involves merging light intensity distributions. The synthesis of these distributions helps to consolidate the data, making it possible to estimate the optical aberrations more accurately. And it's essentially based on the intensity of these distributions of defocused data that Canon is able to identify the aberrations present in the lens and to be able to remove it or prevent them from forming in the manufacturing process to begin with, saving them cost, making it more efficient, and of course, well, improving the optical quality of what we end up getting in our photographs and videos. And that's really significant. And what it can also help do is maybe not reduce prices, but reduce upward pressure in terms of pricing. Essentially, the full scope of this patent application is to reduce all manner of aberration from the manufacturing process of their optical systems, including lenses. And this method is already being used in lenses released in the past year, including the Canon RF 200 to 800 millimeter, the RF 24 to 105 f 2.8, and the RF 10 to 20 millimeter. The results is improved imaging performance. By quickly identifying and correcting aberrations, Canon's able to improve the optical performance and the reliability of their products. So at the end of the day, what this patent application is able to do is reduce the risk that we're gonna see aberrations showing up in these optical systems in these new RF lenses that are gonna result in, well, reduced image quality. This is focusing on, re it's focusing on lenses like Canon's RF system that when paired with cameras such as the Canon EOS R5 or the Canon EOS R3, the R1, which is supposed to be coming out very soon, it allows photographers and videographers to get the detail they need. It's about high quality capture of images. And that's really significant. They're not talking about lenses used in security camera systems or uh, medical systems, but purely hybrid camera systems. And that's a big win for all of us. And in light of this patent application talking about lenses, I thought when we talk about deals of the week, let's go ahead and start off by looking at all the RF lenses that are on sale. And this kind of inspired me by a gentleman who sent me um, a communication earlier yesterday about what lenses he should get. And he mentioned a few lenses like the 100 to 500, the 70 to 200, asking me if I, he should wait. And, it's very tough to answer those questions without knowing more information, but in terms of addressing his pricing concerns, there have been huge pricing uh, discounts on the whole RF series of lenses, like the 100 to 500. We've seen prices as significant as $500 off. And right now, most of the prices, most of the discounts on these lenses ranges from $100 to $300, where we used to see $500. So I, in terms of waiting for better deals. I think if you were to wait at most six months up until November, Black Friday, 
we are definitely going to see better deals than we're seeing right now on lenses. But still, let's take a look at some of the big sales and then we'll take a look at some camera systems that are seeing up to $1,600 off. The RF 100mm f2.8 macro, it's $200 off at $999. The RF 24-240 is $100 off at $799. And the high-end RF 28-70 photographer's portrait lens is $300 off. With many more lenses on sale, trust me, if you take a look at Adorama, b &H, or even Amazon, or your local camera store, you're going to see an awful lot of big savings, especially in the United States. And we're also seeing these sales here in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and much of Europe. So a lot of sales to be had. But now let's turn our attention to some of the camera bodies that are on sale. And we're going to see some of the usual suspects, but some surprisingly new ones, thanks to some, well, a recent camera announcement. The Canon EOS R5, no surprises, is still on sale for a staggeringly low price of $28.99. The R8, $300 off. The R6 Mark II, $500 off. And the R50 is at its lowest selling price ever at $549. And if you're looking towards Nikon, well then consider the Nikon Z8 at $500 off. The Z6 Mark II, $1496. And the Z7 Mark II is $1,000 off at $1996. Well, the Fujifilm GFX 50S Mark II is $1,000 off, but that pales in comparison to the GFX 100S with a staggering $1,600 off. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these camera bodies, lenses, or accessories, then please consider using my affiliate links in the description down below. I have most of these with direct links to the products. Otherwise, just use one of these links and then, you know, put in a search and it's going to take you directly to the product you're looking for. However, I do get a small commission of anywhere from three to 12% back. You don't have to fill in any codes. You don't have to go through any sort of special parts of these websites. It takes you directly to the website you would normally go. Nothing looks any different. You don't have to fill in any other information, but the good news is you get to save some money. You get a really nice product, a new lens or a new camera body, and I get a small commission back. And so it's the best of both worlds. Um, but another, uh, another thing I want to say is a big thanks to all of you for staying right to the end of this video. It's much appreciated. Uh, there is one other thing I want to mention, though. Um, if you happen to come across some interesting conversations, if you hear something through the grapevine of any new products that are supposed to be coming out this year, new camera bodies, new lenses, please reach out to me through my email address and let me know what you've heard because... A lot of things are happening right now, and all the normal channels aren't providing, with, providing us with the information we would like to see, such as stuff about Sony, especially Panasonic, and even Nikon. Although, right now with Canon, things are starting to pick up. I've, I've been able to, um, thanks to these people from coming to me, and I want to be careful about pronouns I use because I don't want to give anything away, but I want to say a special thanks to the sources that have come to me, um, and uh, I appreciate the information. The video that I put out yesterday on the Canon EOS R5, the latest specifications being a WOW camera. Um, I have no doubt that more information will be forthcoming. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be a week from now, a month from now. But um, it, it's all appreciated to, from these sources. And if you're considering providing me with information, um, rest assured, 100% anonymity is, 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 is um, offered to you. But one thing you can do too is you can always set up a dummy email address and send me something and then you, you you don't even have to worry about sending the wrong email to the wrong person as can happen sometimes. Anyhow, a uh, big thanks to all of you for still watching to the end of this video. Thank you for subscribing and uh, choosing all notifications. You don't have to do that, but it really helps to make sure that you stay up to date on the latest and greatest. You also might want to follow me on Twitter or X as it's being called these days. Because um, I use X to tweet out information that um, isn't big enough to have its own separate videos. Sometimes I find out sales. Sometimes it's firmware updates. And sometimes, um, you know, I'm bored and I give you a glimpse into what's going on on any given day. And one thing I would like to know from you, if you do follow me on Twitter, what sort of things would you like me to let you know about on Twitter? Um, I'm, I'm still... You know, I, until I started this channel, I didn't do social media. I didn't do Facebook. I don't really care for these things. But as a way of providing more enhancements to what I do here on the channel and to, uh, ways of d developing a community, um, if there's anything else I can do or communicate, let me know and I'll do my best to uh, well, see what I can do. I can't 
guarantee anything until I know what you say, suggest. But anyhow, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great weekend and we'll see you again soon. And if you're living in Ontario, have yourself a happy long weekend. It's May 2-4 weekend, uh, Victoria Day on Monday. And you know what that means? Well, it means several things for me. Being a bit of a green thumb, it means going off to Home Depot Canadian Tire and picking up a whole bunch of pansies and other flowers to add some color to the property as the tulips and daffodils are starting to fade. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great weekend and we'll see you again soon.